Yes, the classic old school sound. Apologies for the very brief drop in sound there. Whenever I switch screens on this game, it cuts the audio. But we're going back old school all the way to 2008, 2009 with Mirror's Edge. Live and exclusive to YouTube, I am your host, Swishbone, for the remainder of the evening. And the chat box is over in that direction. Get your comments in there if you want to go any further and talk about this. This is a game that I played on the Xbox 360 a long, long time ago. And I'm going back to play it now on the PC. We tried playing this alongside my cohort, Nerdy Hound, on a Games Jam stream, but due to technical issues, we had to abort it. I, however, thanks to the internet, have found ways to hopefully, fingers crossed, fix it so we don't have that one frame per second drop that we had at one point, which was very, very slow indeed. Now, we're going to start a new game for this. Um, yep, that's fine. I'll start a new game. No problem there at all. Now, the way I'm going to play this game is interesting. I'm going to play this as if I'm going for an achievement, which was on the Xbox 360 version. But due to the way this has been released on Steam, there sadly are no achievements, which is a shame. But there was an achievement called Test of Faith, where you weren't allowed to shoot people. I'm going to be playing it in that mode. So let's get started. Once the city used to pulse with energy. Dirty and dangerous, but alive and wonderful. Now, it's something else. The changes came slowly at first. Most didn't realize, or didn't care, and accepted them. They chose a comfortable life. Some didn't. And those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines. Criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. Roll credits. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits, possibilities, and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. So it's interesting to see how old school the cell shading for those animated scenes are. But I love the transition yeah, here. It, but that fall took you out of commission for a while. And now you're back, you gotta keep sharp, especially in this city. Check out these new training grounds, pretty slick, huh? So let's not run around, duty. So get to her and just go with the flow, okay? So I love that sign there, the Jade. You're five a day in a can. Which is rather silly when you think about it. Yep, so that's crouching and then tab. Opens the objective screen, and basically what we're doing now is we're trying to get things going. As you can see, I have mouse lock for this, I'm using the mouse. And therefore, it's a little more, shall we say, fluid. And the way I'm doing this, as I say, is I'm playing this using the Steam PC, but I've made a slight modification to this. Which allows us to run the game as high as 300 frames per second. Hi, Faith. Welcome back. Didn't think we'd be seeing you so soon. No, I've got even have you just seen you jump in the chart, in, in the chart, into the chat there, into the chat. But yes, basically, I've, um, uh, online, I've searched a function you can put in this game where it uncaps the frame rate. So basically, you can go as high as 300 at some points, which is just insane. The maximum I can actually capture at, of course, is 60, but it's still kind of cool. And I say I'm using the mouse and keyboard to play a platform game. I'm not sure if that's the smartest move. But so far, it seems to be holding up all right. How did I try to do it? Oh. She grabbed onto thin air then. I don't know if that was just me. Faith literally grabbed hold of thin air and clung off it. I know that people who are skilled at parkour are good, but if they were that good. Oh, damn it, I, dropped, I accidentally hit the drop down button. If you hit the crouch, you let go of things, so I accidentally kissed the crouch key. My fault, nothing to do with the game. Now you might be wondering why you're not hearing much in the way of sound for me uh, doing my jumps. It's because 
I've mapped my jump button to be my mouse scroller, so I'm literally scrolling backwards on my mouse in order to be able to jump. Use space? Nah, I don't wanna. How is, is this E or Q? <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling, Avian. <clears throat> yeah, it is Q. Right, okay, that's cool. Oh, whoops. I jumped way too soon, then. <laughs> yeah, get, get a jokes in for the absent, for our absent friends, but I'm sure they'll be checking things out at some point, no doubt about it. So you can see we're walking carefully on the ledge. There you are, Avian. How much do you want to be there? How much do you want to join the runners up on the edge? Shimmying along buildings. 1,000 feet in the air, or... Wait, that was me, wasn't it? Well, last year at the CN Tower. Oh, just about caught that. Ah, I've got the one key. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to be there. I'm not. I'm not really surprised. Hmm. Ah, oh, I was stood on that little box there. There's a little <laughs> junction box. Merc wants me to run you through some sparring. You know how he is. You ready? So, so some sparring. Okay, Here we go. On. This this is their idea of this is their idea of fighting. Yeah. I hit the wrong button then. All right, Faith. Let's run through some weapon disarms, just in case. I just see how trippy the mouse aim is. Look at that for mouse aim. That is precision. Remember what I taught you, Faith. Isolate them. Fight them one at a time if you got to fight. Nice try. And then we need to press R. Love the little clip around the ear all very very Gibbs from um the NCIS. Okay, that's enough training, ladies. Gotta get to the real thing. Drake's got a job for yourself, so check in with him. Faith, let me know when you're ready to get going. See you later, Faith. See, that, that thing with the mouse when I was moving the pistol around, that's why a lot of people prefer to play first-person shooters on a PC or a Mac. Because angle of motion with the mouse is so much more precise. Right, so let's watch let's watch Faith show off here in glorious 15-year-old 1080p glory. I mean, despite the rather flat edges to some of the buildings, I still think this looks fantastic. Not so sure about the font for Mirror's Edge there, though. It's a bit standard font, though, isn't it? There you are, Avian, taking the view. I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally, I accidentally caught, it, caught the space bar. And because I caught the space bar, I skipped the scene. <laughs> I feel like a right idea now. So here we are. This is how the game works. Essentially, it's full flow motion. And the idea is to just like, try and go as fast as you can. Make your own routes. <laughs> There's nothing cowardly about staying on the ground. That's a good thing. Staying on the ground is safe. Jumping off cranes over 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 800 feet in the air, that's not safe nice work, at all. Faith. You're making good time. Celeste's almost there. Just keep heading towards the comms tower. Give her the bag and she'll take it from there. Yeah. 
Oddly enough, that jump there, you have to attack it, because if you don't, you don't grab it for some reason. It's the only one in the game where you don't have that um, situation, and I don't know why. Wires are fizzing about you, Faith. Sounds like some blues are headed your way. News chopper tipped them off. Yeah, why can't, the, why can't the news just leave us alone? You know what I mean? The majority of polls have put Callahan in the lead, with Monroe and Doyle in the first two months. Ow. Hey, drop the bag and put your hands where we can see them. Help me move. Just get the hell out of there. Ow. I flubbed that line. Get up. Wires are going crazy. Get out of there, mate. All I've done is literally start running. And I'm being shot at. I'm patching Celeste. If you want to know if you're in a dystopia or not, if the police start shooting first and asking questions later, it's dystopic. And as I said before at the start of the stream, I'm playing this as if I'm going for the test of faith achievement, which means I'm going to try and avoid shooting any police officers. I'll be able to punch them and knock them out or disarm them. I will not be able to shoot them. So it's why I'm trying a very evasion heavy run at the moment. Oh, bugger, I didn't need to do that. That's the last thing I needed. Plan B. I'll do, that's fine. Get to Celeste. There are more blues on the way. Come on, safe. CPF on you, Tedo. Hey, throw me the bag! Ugh. Okay, I got it from here. Okay. How did she throw up. that so I'll far? <clears throat> Get out of here! Is it just me who thinks that's a bit too far to far to throw an arm? <laughs> you gotta get off that roof, mate. Don't care how you do it, just Well, do speaking it. of the news. Let's take a lift. I love the little details now, the tiny Get little reflection of faith in the bottom part of the building. That's so cool. <coughs> Apologies, slight frog in my throat, so I'm trying to clear it. Again, Officer Connors. Going to see Pope. Robert Pope. Taking a statement on that break-in last week? Anyways, it's uh, 56 West Arlen Drive. Tell Lieutenant Miller. Copy that. I'll relay the message, Officer Connors. Thanks. Connors out. Hello, sis. You there, kiddo? Hey, Mark. I bet you're listening to the chatter. You know me. We'll try and get some sleep. It's been a rough day. I'm gonna put the word out tomorrow. See why those blues got itchy trigger fingers. I'll drop by later, okay? And don't chuck that pizza. I like the topic Much for sure. sure. Yeah, I know. See you, Merc. Shots fired. Repeat, shots fired. All units proceed to 56 West Arlen Drive immediately. Proceed with caution. Kate! Where are you? Kate, where are you? Merc. You off? Just get on comms and track me. I was looking for I'd skip to seeing them. Almost there. Well, anytime you'd like to tell me where there is and what the hell you're doing, feel free. It's my sister. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna see if I can figure out what's going on. Give me a sec. So, a little bit of trivia here. Obviously, this city takes a lot of inspiration from Tokyo. But you can actually see the city on the water right in the centre is more reminiscent of Stockholm. And Stockholm is where this game was made uh, by the creators DICE. So there's a nice little bit of homespun trivia for all of you. And that was a piece of poor platforming canache.
Luckily, I'm not going for a speed run here tonight, so we don't have to worry about that. It's amazing how much more precise it is. Been some heat on West Pope's place. Oh. I say that. Ow. And that's why you should stay on the ground, people, and not try jumping off buildings. Because the ground will win. The ground will defeat you. Okay, Drake says there's been some heat on West Arland. Pope's place. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. I'll tell him what's going on there. Right, I think this is one of the issues with the mouse scroller. It doesn't always work for the war runs, so you sometimes have to go back to the space bar. Which is annoying because it's not as you precise. Know, we for me, right? Finally, someone who could actually make a difference. Well, at least it place. isn't for me, because I find it difficult with, with my thumb structure. No. Ow. Learn well, yeah, that's a fair point. No. Unless you're Spider Man or Spider Woman. Oh, what? Yeah. And even then, there's still some issues if you're not careful. Just ask Gwen Stacy. Too soon? And in case you're interested, this is the PC version, running at an uncapped frame rate. Kate? What are you doing here? What happened? Did you? No! You don't recognize him? Should I? It's Robert. Robert Pope? Friend of Dad's? Shit, that Pope. He called me. We hadn't talked much since I joined up. He had a break-in last week. He's still a campaigner. Don't you read the news? It's not news anymore. It's advertising. Preach. He's running for mayor. So the break-in must have really spooked him then. That's what I thought. But it was odd. He told me about the break-in, asked me to come, then asked after you. Really? I haven't seen him for at least ten years. Anyway, he was alive when I got here. Just sitting at his desk, writing. Everything went black. When I came to, he'd been shot. And I'm pretty sure it was with my gun. There was a book on the desk. A diary. It was gone. I'm sure there was someone else in the building. Left my radio in the car. Haven't had time to phone it in. Come on. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. This isn't the time to run. I'm not like you. Running will just make me look guilty. You think this was an accident, Kate? There are no accidents in this city. Someone wanted him dead and wanted you to take the fall. Help me, Effie, please. You've got contacts. There's got to be more to this. Something he knew. Something he wanted to tell me. I can't get involved in this, Kate. You know what I do. I just great. can't. Lose incoming, Faith. You might want to be out going right about, oh, now. Good advice. I'll see what I can do. If this goes down badly, find Lieutenant Miller, my superior. Take anything you find to him. I'm serious, Faith. Remember, they're not playing nice. Get out of there. Now go! And Faith, thank you. Oh. So I say this isn't a speed run. This is just me playing the game through, having fun. Shit. Get out of that building. Move. Well, I say having fun. Wait until I start the frustration of dying. Then we'll see the usual swish streams happen, people. I know that's all you want to see. Find a way out of there. Ow. Yeah, getting shot by an MP5 on the shoulder is not fun. I've never been shot by an MP5 on the shoulder, and I hope I never will be. Should be an exit through the accounting office. So essentially, we are trying to literally run away. I normally do the usual gag, but now's not the time. Oh, I managed to jump over it. What the hell? That's annoying because that slowed me down and that's made me a target. I don't, I don't think 
don't, don't believe me if I just say I was a mailman anymore. If this is your idea of assistance, I really don't want it. Stay there while we assist you. Bang, 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 bang. You know what I mean? Like, what? What kind of nonsense is that? So we're going full Jackie Chan in. Who am I here, people? Oh, avian, low hanging through. You're not wrong, but low hanging through. Anyone who saw the Kingdom Hearts stream, the Final Fantasy X stream, the Resident Evil 4 remake separate ways stream. You get the idea. I might see you do this any faster, Mark. <laughs> Ow. Not a good time to fall flat on my ass while I'm in the middle of a hopper suit. Good lord. much cover those solar panels but they'll have to do nah no thanks I'm noping out of that one I didn't do anything. I'm not the one who shot the gun. Don't start trying to pin this on, on, on me, no. I can't fuck all I do with it. Ow, that was a dangerous idea. That was me messing up a rather neat little feature. The unofficial route I wanted to try, but... I, I think I've made it work one in ten times. Maybe twenty. I have actually made it there. I've actually done it, but I'm not sure quite what I did, what did wrong. So I'm going to go the, the regular route this time. It doesn't make much of a difference anyway, to be honest. It's more a speed run this thing. I just like the idea of jumping down a building, but the game's not. Oh. I didn't mean literally jump down the building. That was me being an imbecile. But for some reason, whenever you map the buttons to your mouse, there are certain circumstances where they just don't seem to work. I'm not sure why. And you better off switching to the regular keys. That is the one advantage of doing the other route. You don't get shot up. But that's literally the only real difference. They're trying to cut you off the head, Pete. Get through them, quick. You gotta push through to the platform, Pete. There's a route through the tunnel ahead. Look, right now I'm being shot at. My biggest priority is not getting hosed. Get some air in your lungs and run. You don't want to know what's behind your face, just keep running. Let me guess, many cops with many guns are behind me. Should be an exit off the rail overpass and flies ahead. Creek's heading to the other side to get down. I don't know if you all noticed that, but that shutter was closed because the frame rate's so high. I'm actually technically ahead of the game's performance. Because there are points where you get as high as 300 frames per second. Which is a rather obscene amount. Up onto the rail overpass. It's the only way through. Tank a few shots. It's okay. We can make it. 
Oh, the zipping, sliding, skidding, kicking, falling. It made us quite tough. Somehow it's made us bulletproof. Why is he waving? Come on. He wasn't waving her face. You did good, Faith. No word on what's got the blues so trigger happy, but I'll keep on it. And um, don't worry about your sis, okay? We'll fix it. <clears throat> what the hell, Merc? Something's got somebody rattled, kiddo. I don't know what it is, but they're mighty jittery. Hey, Sal. Take long to lose them? Nah, those blues can't move for shit. They've gotten a little gun happy, though. Why Just is a it bit. busy about Pope's murder? Blue traffic is up. Way up. Don't know what's got into them. Must be contract renewal time. Be careful out there, Sal. So why all the heat? Our girl's been lifting evidence from a crime scene. Now every cop in the city seems to be after her. That the evidence you lifted? Yeah, I think it's from a diary. Rest of it was gone. All I can make out are Icarus, maybe, and to the highest. Icarus? Wasn't he the Greek guy? Yeah, his dad made him some wings out of feathers and wax. Then the boy flew too close to the sun. And pssst, no more wings, no more Icarus. If anyone's heard anything, then you know who it'll be, Faith. Yeah? I know he ain't a runner anymore, but he's got contacts. You can't avoid him forever. Wanna bet? Who? Jackknife. So in terms of story, this is quite Drake's thin on the ground, Jack but Knight. that's okay because some rooftops of the old runner training ground in what's wrong with Drake. playing a game and having fun with Roof's it, you know what I mean? With blues, City authority you follow the canal to the Hampton Town District. Get going. Yeah, yeah, we're in trouble when I can't even jump straight and hit and hit a pipe people. We're in trouble with it. I think I jumped too far then. I mean, that's not much of a warning, is it? You've got literally, you've got five seconds to comply. Okay, two way, shoot. try to escape. It's actually quite an exhilarating way to play. <laughs> you actually watch some of the professionals They uh, who play this game. They do ridiculous tricks to skip like 99% of the levels and everything. But I always find it when you play a game that way. Are you really playing it anymore? I'm, 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 I want your comments on that, people. If you're skipping 95% of the you game by exploiting it, stuff, are you really drain. playing the game? I suppose you are, it's just in a very different way. <laughs> Although I am going to be a massive hypocrite now, because I'm going to try something that does a massive skip. And the way I'm going to do it, at least I hope I got this right, is to stand here. Watch this. I've just skipped to the bottom of the tunnels. I think I accidentally hit slow mo mode, then. I did. So instead of running all the way that all the way through the rings there and trying to dodge gunfire. 
I simply jump straight down. So that's me being a mahoosive hypocrite. Are you playing the game if you skip 95% of a level? Ha <laughs> ha. Speed remote go boo. Unfortunately, you can't do anything here, you just got away, which is annoying. I'm supposed we'll to go up on up. those railings and climb, but you can actually do this, which saves you time. If you jump and coil onto the pipes, you can actually down. cut. No, you can fall and break your legs. Keep going. Don't think those clues won't come down here. It's like is dying a glitch? Not really. No, dying hey, is dying. On the wires. Shit. Looks like they anticipated you might duck in here. It's now, if I can make this work, there's a tiny little skip you can do here. That saves having to go all the way around. It's not as big an exploit as my skip Midgar one that I did in the FF7 screen mine. Ow. Yeah, it'd have been better using that as a club than trying to shoot me with a sniper rifle from that range. Points like this, I actually look like I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite competent, don't I? And then I managed to hit two keys at once there and slow the game right down. And die. This is Hampton Town Access Point, your exit base. Jack my face for Oh, what the hell? I managed to jump over the pipe then, not quite sure how I did that. The good thing is, it wasn't a fault. It didn't hurt, so it could have been worse. Say running with such high frame rates now and again, the speed of it is unbelievable. It's just like unbelievably smooth. One for you, Avian. Oh yeah, look at that. Ain't that a view? Right, here's where we're gonna be up against it.
Oh, one too many. I was just not isolated enough. <laughs> Still no behavior. You, that, that's beyond you, is it? <laughs> and I say, I'm hoping at some point to play it's, uh, well, not, it's not sequel, not reboot, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. There you'll see some really good views, that's all i got to say. Yeah, shut it down, mate. Nah, not today, mate. What I'm trying here is I'm trying to lure them away. Because by luring them all out into the open, away from each other... So as you can see, I did not once fire a gun then. I did not once shoot. There's only Jack two points in this no game where I can shoot my gun. Two. One's now. optional, one's mandatory. Well, that's it. No, there's, there's, there's six points I need to shoot my gun, potentially. But all not at people. I love the fact that he was just waiting for us. Why was he waiting for us? Surely you heard all the police noise and the shots. Why would he hang around? Is it just me? So now word of pursuers, people. We're after him. And he runs on a script, by the way, so there's not really... Unless you glitch out of bounds, you're not going to catch him up, because you're not meant to. The whole point of this is that you're getting close to him. So it doesn't matter how fast you go, unless you lose him. You have, a, you have a minimum speed that you have to hit. Oh, what the hell? Normally that works fine. I must have jumped too far. That's an alternate route I've used for years. Man, you've had too much speed or too much momentum. I went too far forward. It's easily done. She landed perfectly fine. I don't get it. I love the fact he's just waiting for us there. Doesn't realise we're coming from above. to mouse aim here is so much better than a controller. The amount of responsiveness you have that you don't get on the controller is crazy. No point trying to get into his elevator, you'll never make it. Apparently we are family here, people. We are family and like to shoot people. Amazing his split is that open the way he landed, then you see his head literally whiplash up the concrete. Through, Ow! That can't have been pleasant. He might be a jackass, but you don't want anyone doing that. Ooh. Yeah. When I managed to go through the pipe and the ledge then. I must have been, like, in that really annoying contact point for the collision detection. <laughs> Let's not forget, this was a game released in 2008, so there are some things that don't quite tally up. Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, 
Good evening, uh, Marister Jack. Just seen you there. How are you doing, matey? Welcome to the stream. Yes, playing a bit of Mirror's Edge tonight. A bit of an old school classic. Although I'm playing this on PC using the Steam version and I'm running it at a very high frame rate when it wants to. I'll show up for a second for this cutscene. I know what you're here for, Faithy. Just tell me what Icarus has to do with Pope's murder, Jack. I heard a cop did it. You heard wrong. You a fan of wrestling, Faith? Pope was a wrestling fan. He even employed an ex-wrestler to handle his security. Travis Burfield used to go by the name of Ropeburn. Is this going somewhere? Ropeburn? Well, he's really just a thug who got lucky. And sometimes people are too ignorant to see their place. Always want to swim in the big pond. Never see the bigger fish. If I were you, I'd start with that glorified slab of meat. Happy hunting, Faithy. Listen, I don't know about going to Rope Burn straight away. I'm not. I'm going to see Miller. Oh, Faith, what are you doing? You're going to tell him about Jackknife? Not yet. He's still a cop. No matter what Kate says. Yeah, you got us on the PS3. I have it on the Xbox 360. It's still a great game to play, but the PC version is definitive. Yeah, he's heading for his car. There's some minor tweaks to the code you have to do, which is what I've had to do. I've had to actually manually adjust the code. It makes me sound like I'm competent, and I'm not. I followed a guide online. Lieutenant Miller? I'm Faith. Kate's sister? She never mentioned a sister. Yeah, well, we're not the mentioning kind. She told me to find you if things went bad. She's been arrested. And you wouldn't be the suspect seen fleeing from the crime scene, would you? Well now, it's difficult to recall with a gun in my face. <laughs> I know what you are. You know it was a setup, right? I know Kate wouldn't be capable of something like this. But my captain's asking some difficult questions, and I can't even get in to see her. What do you know about something called Icarus? Why? It's mentioned on this. It was in Pope's hand. I think it's from his diary. You took evidence. Kate's the only family I have, Lieutenant. And Blue's in jail don't last long. She goes down for this. It's a death sentence. I won't stop you. I owe that much to Kate. But there are plenty of people who'll try. And I can't stop them either. You better learn how to run. Running is what I do best. So onwards to level four, people. This is the level where we had to tap out for frame rate issues. Sea Burfield International Shipping near the Riding Park subway. Should be a sign on top of the building. It'll help guide you. Look, I saw Rope Burn wrestle once. Broke some poor bastard's arm, then headbutted the ref. So if this Rope Burn really is mixed up with Pope's murder and Kate's setup, he sure won't be a talker. He'll be a fighter. So allow me to explain a bit more about what I mean by the frame rate issues. Basically, this game, uh, when it was released on Steam years ago, came with an upgrade by NVIDIA called Fizz X, which basically featured a load of really new, like, like uh, geometry and background effects. But on the modern computers, they don't run very well without certain modifications to the code. And um, on the fourth level, the one we're on now, there's a point where me and Nerdy were playing, and we're in the middle of a police pursuit, and the frame rate got to something silly like maybe two frames per second. It was literally unplayable. Everyone on, everyone in the audience was getting headaches, I was getting a headache, and we just said, yeah, we're going to have to abandon this. As much fun as we're having, it's just not working. But thanks to some people online, they managed to fix the code, and you just have to do a, a couple of minor tweaks, and it gets rid of all the issues. And the best thing is, it keeps the physics active, so you still got all the enhancements. But you don't have the slowdown as much. Oh, what the hell? I gained so much momentum that I actually stood on the pipe. And uh, went, and went, fell, fell down. Ah, so you remember the UAVian. Yeah, so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, hopefully when we get to this sequence this time, it'll run a lot smoother. Well, it wasn't... We thought at first it was Nerdy's computer. We, we believed it was his PC. Turned out not to be. Now, I can reiterate that although a reclassification of the macro product would be unlikely, they had 
not ruled out the possibility of the Basically, this game is all about finding flow and movement. And if you play it the way I'm doing, where you're not shooting guns at people, it becomes quite challenging. Especially in the later levels when you're really under fire. So it's actually a fantastic way to play the game. And in the sequel, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, they actually removed the ability to use guns. Which is awesome. I just do what I'm told. You know that? Yeah, well, I don't know what to do. I, uh, facilitate things. Then I got more folks watching me than just you. And they wanted us to wrap her up all night with those poops. Yeah, yeah, so it don't look good for you and your little dad. Take that up with them. In a few days, it'll all be over. Today's front page will be tomorrow's kitty litter. Come on! That runner won't last long. None of them will, right? The precious Project Icarus will be fine. Bye, bye, bye. Now don't get your panties in a bunch. Look, meet me at that new place on Leno Street tomorrow. 4 p.m., okay? Don't freak, they ain't finished building it yet. All quiet once you get above street level. See you there. And don't bring any of your friends. We good? Good. Anyways, I gotta get some chow. Brain like this don't hold up itself, you know. <laughs> I love all the little details on like the magazines and everything. So what was the flashback to FF7 that you've got in mind? Oh, what the hell? I need that gun. I'm getting blue's head for you. You must have triggered a silent alarm somewhere. Ass out now. So what's the flashback to FF7 then, Avian? I'm curious. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it's too late now. I'm going to have to do this legit. Damn it. Either that or I just deliberately fail. Yeah, I can just deliberately fail. Or maybe not, I might get away with it. Ah, listening to the meeting in the Shimra building, that's how. Yeah, I'm gonna get away with this. What black. So this was the point where the game was basically failing to load last time. It was causing all kind of problems. This time, we were able to move. Oh, bugger. Right, I've, just, I've, I've just killed myself now. I'm dead here. There's nothing I can do. I am absolutely dead. I accidentally hit the quick turn while I was jumping. And because of that, I, I fell flat on my back. Wait, I might get away with this, believe it or not. I shouldn't do, but I might do. Unbelievably, I got away with that. That was the sloppiest run I've ever done there before. I've never done a run that sloppy in my life. Not even when I first played it. I'm actually quite impressed I got away with that. I'm amazed I got away with it, but I'm not complaining. Sucks to be you, my friend. Drake's got a hideout up ahead. Head for the cranes and I'll update you when you get closer. Watch it, babe. The blues have a chopper in you. These cops have no chill at all. They've got zero chill.
Oh, damn it. Because I was looking too close to the left and I took myself towards the wall. First one worked great right with that little kick off the wall. That was awesome. Unfortunately, I got it. I got. I got. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to say I got poor positionings. I didn't. Okay, here we go. I got pinned between them now because they the R and the R and G for which way they went. They both split to the left. They normally don't do that, but it's cool because this is where it's all about trial and error. Watch it, boost up ahead. Oh, seriously? Really, Aristojack? Really? That's that, that's bottom of the barrel right there. so close, so, so close. It's that close to getting out. That close. Oh, bless. I am playing this on normal difficulty, by the way. I'm not playing this on easy or hard. So you are getting the genuine experience here. See, I don't want that. I don't want to be shooting. Okay, good. That's the last one. Now go. There we go. Isolate and conquer. I have heard that you can actually glitch so that those guards don't spawn, but that's cheating, so we don't do that. Into the recycled hallway. Let's check out the headlines here, people. Check it out. Five signs you might know someone is a runner. Telltale scuff marks on their clothes. Unexplained great, great some bruises or broken bones. Absences from school. Calluses on the pawns nickels. Fondness for the colour red. Highly specific reasons, aren't they, people? Now here's where there's a tiny little exploit. You're supposed to go all the way around the buildings here, but you can actually jump off this awning and cut a massive corner of the level. Should be some cover ahead, some scaps. Try and lose some of the heat in there. Well, we can certainly try, or we'll be able to, and that's another matter. Didn't want to do that. I did not want to slow myself down with that. What can you do? Shitload of blues in the plaza. Go higher and get yourself out of there. Right, get ready, people. One of my favourite parts of the game coming up. Go on. See ya. That's my one. That's one of the few kills I'm gonna get in this game. Got a call from its mom. It's bugging out. Not for long. Okay. Oddly enough, on the 360, your flying kick actually sends them straight down, but it doesn't do it on PC for some reason. I don't know why. I tried to squeeze glide them. I tried to squeeze between the the boxes. I got it wrong. Ah, right, I see where I am. You don't have to fight these guys. 
But I find it easier if you can get rid of at least one of them. If you get rid of them both, it's even easier. Okay, Avian, you're going to love this part. Watch this. That's right. We're going coast to coast. I don't know if you saw them, but I flipped them off when I, when I jumped down. And we were so fast, we didn't even get the final conversation between Faith and Merc. <laughs> I received your message. I started looking into Rope Burn. Why? He's Travis Burfield, Pope's head of security. You think he killed Pope? Maybe. He sure as hell set Kate up. Wanted a cop to go down for it. And he wasn't alone. Heard him mention Project Icarus. Burfield is dangerous, Faith. He's not someone you want to mess with. He framed my sister. I'm sorry, Faith. For what? For this. I don't want Kate to go down for this either. But we've got private firms muscling in on our districts. Bolstering city security, they call it. They're breathing down our necks, waiting for us to slip up. The only way they might go easy on us, and easy on Kate, is if I give them... Me. Yes. All I care about is Kate. And for her sake, I'm gonna let you go. But if you pull a gun on me again, I will kill you. And right now, I think I'd be doing the city a favor. It's interesting that she's able to just walk away with a back turn to him, despite the fact they pulled guns on each other. I never quite understood that scene, to be honest. There's a bird going in the direction of Roteburn's meeting. You think it's Roteburn's pal? Maybe, but it looked like a CPF one to me. And how many other people can get their paws on a bird in this place? Not many. Hey, you better get going if you want to catch them. You keep on street level two. Blue's around. Well, of course there's blues around because we're in a highly monitored police state dystopia. Of course the blues are going to be about. Yeah, this is one of my favourite games of all time, because I just like the fluidity of it. I like the fact that it's a game that's designed for short narrative. It's all action, but you can play it in multiple different ways. There's loads of secrets to unlock. There's loads of lore. Masses of potential that was sadly not fulfilled. They made this, the half-reboot Catalyst, and that was it, really, sadly. There were a couple of comic books as well, but they were all kind of like prequels rather than the actual stories. Hmm? I'm looking at the plans for this place. It's a labyrinth. And quiet, too. No wonder Roeburn picked it. But if there's a bird involved, I'm guessing they'll be near the roof. You're gonna need to find a way up. Well, of course we're gonna have to find a way up. That's what we have to do around here, don't we? Ah, yes, that's a bird. What the? I managed to look too far to the right then. And down we go. I will be shortly, Merc. Shut up. So that's a no then. Merc, you're on comms. Do your job. Stay on comms and shut up. When I want you to, to navigate me a place, I'll, I'll ask for you. Otherwise, stay quiet. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing.
So I like the dingy interiors of places like this, but they're still well lit. One of the things that made this game stand out from its peers at the time was just how colourful it was. It was a game that wasn't afraid to be different in that respect. It wasn't, like, all about just following the rules. Miller? Shit. Seriously? Yeah. Should never have trusted a blue. He's with Ropeburn. Bet he's up to his neck in this Icarus stuff. I'm heading up. See what I can find out about Pope and Kate. Much like in many detective stories, the closer you get to the truth, the more it all begins to unravel. I've, I've, I've managed to end up in the place I can't climb from. I'm gonna have to drop back down. I don't believe it. I ended up between two poles, so I couldn't actually climb. She won't climb by one way, which is really annoying. That's the downside to the early to the the the, uh, the early the late 2000s slash early 10s collision detection people. Signal set. Seems you might be clear of the blues for now. Looks like the Riding Park subway stops closed. Some kind of renovation work. Climb. Climb. Climb! Oh boy, Blue's going into the subway. You gotta go deeper, Faith. Yeah, well, I will do when the game lets me. Here we go. Safe and productive day. I was thinking of him, like, why haven't they, why haven't they actually started, like, moving forward? And now I know why. Oh, come on, get through there. That. That's because it didn't open the first time. I pressed the button for it to open, and it didn't open. No matter. It's okay. Blue's ahead trying to cut you off. Get ready to fight.
The suspect might be spotted, but it doesn't mean you're going to get the suspect. Just leave me alone. Yeah, nice try. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, that didn't work. Shut off. Thank you, Japanese train network. That was the only reason I got out of there alive, then, people. not work at all. Ah, that's why I'm on the wrong room. It's not this one, it's this one. There we go, that's what I wanted. There we are, what about... So, <laughs> janitor of the month. About the old certificate I'd get as well, so I understand the janitors uh, thinking of that kind of thing. Blue's getting close. Get moving, mate. Losing your signal. I was stuck into the one further along, but I was too slow. I'm not going to be quick enough. Come on. No headlights, no headlights. That's good. Yes. Oh, I can't get that way. I just remember, they have to go over here. Amazingly, that worked. Uh. Ow. Went too soon for it. I actually got hit by the blades. That was a nice cheat. Work, kiddo. Real nice. If you get any more trouble, Celeste's not a job near you. She'll help you out. Normal loading into a pole will kill you. It doesn't work for that one. You can just lie down to it. What are you thinking about? A murderer? Yeah? Yeah. Popes. Got a tip off about a meet at the New Eden Mall tomorrow. Gonna pay a visit. Shit, Faith. Why are you doing this? It's not your fight. Just, I don't know, lay low. Everything's changed. The city's different now. I keep thinking of my folks. They thought this place was something worth protecting. Mom and Dad were friends with Pope. Organized protests, lobbied the mayor, took me and Kate on marches. But I never really understood why back then. What it meant. Merck said your mom died. She was killed during the downtown riots. 
protest marches that went bad. That's rough. After that, we, uh, well, pretty much fell apart. Dad never forgave himself, and I, well, I left home soon after. Guess I never really forgave him either. I was very Batman then with That's the lightning flash. Mark. He caught me, breaking into his place. No kidding. He never said that. He offered to train me. Felt like a good way off the street, so I took it. Not much else going for me. What you're doing now, Faith, is the fastest way to get yourself killed. They got my sister involved, Cell, and I need to clear her name. I owe her that much. I'll survive. That's what we do. Survival is overrated. You need to live a little, too. Hey, you want to come with me tomorrow? Could use the help. Can't. Drake's got me on a job. Says I've been slacking. Look, I've got to go. It's fine. Someone's bound to start shooting at me soon. <laughs> Get going. Faith. Take care. So you can see the cops waiting for us on the roads, people. So we're going to have to go a different way. Now, you can actually cheat here by using a death exploit to save time, but... I'm not on a speed run, so I'm not going to do that. If you get it right, you can get a spawn spot right here. And it saves you a few seconds. Way up onto the and and so if you want to save time on your runs, people, that's one way you can do it. As I'm not being awarded anything special for finishing faster, I'm not going to bother doing that. Wires are humming. More blues on the way. Oh, well, that lasted long, didn't it, people? Uh, train, train. Come on, I need another train to come by on the opposite track. Come on, come on. Screw it, I'm going for it. Yeah, I see it, Murph. Be quiet. Good old express elevators. Right. Okay, now we're up there. Let's keep going. One, that's one of those where I have to use the space bar to do the jump for some reason. Now I'm gonna try something insane here, but I don't think it's gonna work. Looks like you're gonna have a fight on dad. Only if I choose to have it and I've got an idea here. through that sequence. You're doing good. Just oh, a few but then you... Ahead. Oh, doesn't matter. Lucky for me, I fell down a very short elevator shaft then. That could have been much worse. 
<laughs> we got away with it. So let's put, let's let's focus on that. <laughs> oh, uh. <laughs> that was unlucky. Bet you enjoyed that ride, didn't you, Avian? That's what I was trying to do earlier. It bugged out. You should be able to get to the mall without being shot at. I believe I want to see him, Merc. Until there's no more guns shooting at me, I'm not considering that as of any kind of belief at all. It's very fluid, this game, when you get it right. But when you don't get it right like that, it feels very choppy. So it's pretty good, actually, in simulating that sense of free movement and keeping yourself going, getting momentum, keeping momentum. Yep, so the new Eden Mall, right bright, making the city shine. Yeah. Venus Coronotopus. Hmm. And do you dream of an apartments on um, on Arlington Drive? No, I don't think I do actually. I do like the variety of levels I've got in this game. So we've had everything like subways, we've had sewers, a shopping mall. It's pretty cool that we've got like that sense of anywhere goes kind of thing to it. <laughs> Yes, the fugitive is supposed to be highly dangerous. That's because I am. And again, there are people who've found ways to skip a large part of the level here. Well, I'm not interested in doing that. I want to play this properly. So get ready for this, people. I mean, that didn't work. Normally, you can break the glass there. Thank you. That's all I'm waiting for. Ow. I hit the crouch key instead of the, instead of the jump. I'm like an idiot. Climb up towards the upper level. You know what? That's actually very good advice, Merc. Thank you for that. I hadn't thought about that, honest. <laughs> no one said you had to set the fire roof. You gotta get to the roof, mate. Keep going. 
I like the fact that the game couldn't keep up with the actual speed we're going at. We're actually going so fast that half of the dialogue is out of sync. And it's not because I'm being a pro player here, because I'm not. I'm far below professional. In fact, I'm barely above amateur. I'm probably not even above amateur. Now, annoyingly, you have to wait for this to actually completely come to a stop. Because otherwise, if you touch these blades, even the slowest speed, they kill you. Difference of previously. What the hell? For some strange reason, that didn't work. Yeah, take your M60 cannon and go away. Not happening today, my friend. Should be an exit on the other side of the atrium. You need to find a way across, baby. Okay, I will do. Oh, I was literally half about to do my jump and I think I got shot and it, it inter interrupted my rhythm and sent me down when she didn't register the jump in time. Which is pretty realistic to be fair, if you're getting shot, you're not likely to be able to do acrobatic jumps. Again, I can't say I've been shot and I don't want to be, but I imagine, whereas that time I missed the ledge by like that far. So this game can have its difficulty spikes, but again, the instant reload and replay, it's not as frustrating as some games. It's quite fair on its checkpoints, I find. Now, interestingly, by getting shot, all the enemies disappeared. So there's potentially an exploit there. Deliberately lose the level so that you can, like, carry on at speed without being shot at. Because the enemies seem to just, just disappear. Unless I'm, unless I'm going crazy. Should be one last door and you're out of there. <sighs> Looks like my little friend is back. Think he's the assassin? I don't know. But I think I know someone who does. Of you to drop by. With a little bit of persuasion, Ropeburn was pretty chatty. Told me about his meeting with Pope's killer at the mall. And you're thanking me, right? <sighs> but when I got there, guess who was waiting for me? No idea, Faithy. I just go there for the pretzels. Bad case of the blues. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, Faithy! It wasn't me! Besides, if I wanted you dead, don't you think I would have just killed you myself? You're right. A creep like you couldn't have organized- No, don't be like that. Ropeburn's dead. I'm impressed. Wasn't me. You need to be careful who you hang around with. Oh, I learned that a long time ago. And yet, here we are again. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this little meeting short, Faithy. Places to be, you know how it is. Try not to get yourself killed. Merc. Merc, you can stop pretending not to listen now. <laughs> What's up? Can you do a search on Perandella Kruger security? On it. Why do you ask? Been seeing their name around. In Ropeburn's office and somewhere else. Distinctive logo. Getting anything? Mm hmm. Just what you'd expect. Alarms, fencing, armored cars, private security. Oh, and they secure our world, apparently. Where are they based? A few offices around town. Just got a new place down near the docks. Get me some coordinates. I'm gonna go check it out. Yes, yeah, so curiosity has taken the cat to the docks, people. As we are quite deep into this game, we're going alright, we're motoring along quite well. Hey, 
Head toward the building with the big stupid dog symbol. Loading base should be a way in. Yes, Savior, and it's your favorite company now because they have a doggo as the logo. I'm sure you'll be telling me to leave him alone. And let him try it in peace. Ah, that's why I was in trouble. Here we go, Avian, just for you. Why that crash mat's randomly in the middle of the street, I don't know, but I'm not complaining. Oh, what the... Ah. Oh, no, you don't. You did it before, you'll do it now. Better. Thank you. It's high speed, so I'd say it's great gain to play. It just feels so fluid. And obviously, you can play it your own way. If you want to do it more Call of Duty Battlefield style, where you take the guns and shoot everything, you can. There's no penalty for it. There's no ranking system as such, so you can just play the game your way. I prefer playing it where I don't shoot because I like the idea of the runners being pacifists. And they're just trying to deliver messages and, like, help the public without any real semblance of, you know, serious threat to public security. If they're just going around shooting everything, they're like any other, like, resistance group. Whereas here, you're more like a old-school messenger behind the lines, and I like that. Oh, good evening, Queen. I've seen you jump in there saying you made it. That's pretty awesome. I am under serious fire here, but it's okay. We're going to make it, I think. I don't know who you're trying to engage there, pal. It certainly ain't me. Now this part of the level that I'm about to do is the worst part. It is very, very, very hard. But it is a load of fun. Here we go. That's part of the reason why. Oh, someone else shot me. And it is indeed the Popo. But these Popo don't try and arrest you. It's not a case of say hi to Virgil in cell block D. Or anything like that, it is a case of they're going to kill you. What the hell? Ah, uh, I think I was holding down, down one of the wrong keys. I was wondering why I was going sideways. And the answer is me being incompetent. Now you might be wondering why I'm not just trying to disarm these ones. There is a glitch in this game where for whatever reason, the ones who are holding the MP5s, if you try and do the counter, it doesn't register. And I don't know why. It just doesn't work. Oh, God. I've done this before. I have done this route, people. Trust me. I have actually made it through this. Ah, well, that screwed me over. Go, go, go. That's a dead end. Curiously, this could actually work to my advantage. Oh, that's not. That's cool, man. She grabbed, she grabbed the wrong part of the rail. And if she'd have grabbed the, um, the, the one in the middle, and I might have made that up. 
Oh no, you can you can take the guns, but I don't want to use them. I want to play this on what's known as the Task of Faith for it. Oh, what the hell? She didn't do a baseball slide. Normally, she does like a baseball slide, and it's a much more powerful kick. I can only assume it not have enough momentum. Alright, I'm going to try a different route. For whatever reason, the route I normally do isn't working. See, there's the proof. I was literally smacking it bang on time, and because it's the MP5 one, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. The ones with the MP5s, you can't disarm them. You can disarm the ones with the M60s, you can disarm the ones with the shotguns, the pistols, the Uzis. You'll have no problem disarming them, but for whatever reason, the MP5s, you can't disarm them. If I think it's a glitch in the code, because it's the same on all platforms I've played it on. It's only these enemies where you have this problem. I don't know how you got a shot from it then, but it's okay. Get down and stay down. Stay effing down. Engage this, you tosser. Get lost. There we go. And now we're getting out. And that should be a checkpoint with any luck. There we go. And down we go. <laughs> How easy is that? According to the plan, there should be a way through beyond the conveyor system in there. Yep, yeah, and I'm gonna go and find it. So yeah, so good evening to you anyway, Queen. How are you doing? You had a good night so far? Perfect. Much better than the first, but you wish you could have had the day off. Yeah. I feel bad for anyone who had to work today. I mean, I'm quite lucky my company didn't make us work, but some co other places I've worked in the past have. And it's not fun. No one wants to be dealing with the wild Karens on a day like today. That's a secret shortcut. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to go straight on that. So that's the great thing about this game. It encourages you to find your own pathways. Well, I mean, it pays the bills, but yeah. Are ah, you playing Rebirth, are you, Queen? Fantastic. Nice reflection of faith, that. Jackpot. I think I found the nerve center. Room. Could be some kind of training room. Drake. What are they training them for? You mean there's something left in the city they haven't managed to tax, ban, or regulate? What the hell's left, huh? Us. Mark, get your gun. You know, that's never too far away. Why? This... this training, Merc. This Project Icarus, Pirandello Kruger, they're not here to bolster the police. They're being trained to come after us. After the runners. All the runners. Everything okay up there? Quite as grave. Just me, birds, and the best black market surveillance equipment money can buy. It's him. Him? The guy I saw at the mall. I've seen him on a camera, on the deck of a boat at the dock. Walk of faith. If 
done enough. Right now, it seems you're sitting in the lion's den. So please, all ass out of there. So here we go, people. This is where things get interesting. But this is different to the man lose. Because we're being pursued by runner cops. That's right. Someone has trained them just like us. We're now truly being hunted. And this is where the game gets very entertaining. Because these guys really do have no chill. Oh, bugger, I didn't want to do that. Ow. Ow. Got lucky then. One of them kicked me, but I found a different way around them. Missed time that by half a frame. Yeah, not today. Love the heart pumping music they've got for this. It's great. It's like very Euro, uh, very Euro Electro, but in the best way possible. Oh, how convenient. Thank you. audio cut off them. She normally says, do it, I'm going after that guy. The audio failed. And that, that's very run Lola run, isn't it? Am I the only one seeing this? But yeah, speaking of um, FS7 Rebirth, there's been a lot of activity on the video uploaded of a very interesting glitch. Which is not a spoiler, by the way. It's not like 15 seconds long, but it suddenly started spiking in traffic. In there recklessly, kiddo. That's Pope's killer, Mark. Yeah, well, there might be more heat out there. It's too risky to try to get to the boat by foot. You'll be spotted for sure. There must be some way to slip in undercover. Now, there are people who found a way to skip practically this entire level, believe it or not. There's a way that it's been designed that means you can actually basically skip 99% of it. That's not the way to do it, by the way. Ah, yes, that's it. <laughs> So that's the way to get down without using all the pipes, if you just want to get down. <laughs> We're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're going to sneak on board the boat. What the hell is in this boat anyway? No idea. Could be munitions, I guess. Might be to do with this Project Icarus. Look, head straight for the deck if that's where you saw this guy. Once you found your killer, get some answers and get out fast. Lots of blue traffic in the area, so get ready for a fight. So I can't read these kanjis, but interestingly, there's a random picture here of a load of people's faces. Not sure what that's meant to be. Next few hours. As usual, City Eye Channel 6 will be first on the scene, with the results as soon as they're So what we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and get through this next part. And we're going to try and do it quickly. So expect to fail multiple times, people. Expect to see me die. A lot. Right, 
Right, taking two of the guards out is helpful. It's not guaranteed, but it's helpful. It's all about fluid movement. That's all the guards taken out. I did that first time. Normally that doesn't happen, people. Normally I get a bit frustrated at this point because it's, there's a very high amount of enemies and a lot of them have the MP5, which is a weapon that I've never had much success in disarming myself personally. So the fact that I got through that Bit of brute force east and fuggery, I admit. But that's nothing new for one of my streams, really, is it, people? There is another very frustrating part coming up soon, I must admit. Right, okay. There we go, now we're in position. And up we go. Excellent. Now we're in position. Now we're cooking with gas. Drake says he's got a runner in your area. Says they reported a lot of activity on that boat. But he's seen what he thinks is your guy on the top deck. Okay, cool. If he's on the top deck, let's go get him. Oh, what the hell? I wasn't expecting her to climb them. Luckily, however, that's actually got me up an area, which, which you shouldn't have done. So technically, that saved me some time. I suppose I've done the glitch exploit there, which I didn't intend to do, people. I can assure you of that. That wasn't intentional. Now, annoyingly, we are going to have something happen on this level, which is not really what the game's designed for. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't get me wrong, it's not unplayable. It just feels strange to have it. <laughs> but first things first, we have to try and get off this area. And this is where we're in some trouble. Cover and work your way towards them. Get some I can't stay in cover when she gets stuck on a wall, which was annoying. There is one route I kind of know here, but it's still not ideal. Stay in cover and work your way towards them. Time to get some answers. Well, I would have stayed in cover then, but she grabbed the ladder and didn't want her to. Because the collision detection for this is you run up to a ladder and you grab it. So if you're a bit too close, and again, it's down to direction, it's not down to anything else. Uh, the directions took me to it. Stay in cover and work your way towards them. Time to get some answers. And the problem I just had then was I kind of got stuck in between a field of viewpoint, but it's okay because I've made it up here. Hopefully, I can now get across quickly. The idea, anyway. So this is where we have a situation I don't like. Uh, 
which is a boss fight. This game has a sudden boss fight. He's getting away. So we're in pursuit, people. Let's get after them. These, uh, these valve handles feel torturously slow. The hell? I got stuck on something then, but I don't know what it was. I think I'm going to get away with that. Yeah, I have. Oh! Well, I'm not going to get away with that. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm starting all the way back here. Ah. That's irritating. Must be a checkpoint on the other side. Oh, what the... Oh, for f That's it. I've lost. This mission's over. I'll have to start again in a second, peeps. Unless I might get lucky here. And I think it's basically like a hidden timer checkpoint. And as long as you're within that time frame, you'll be okay and remain in active pursuit of them. But if you're outside that time limit, you'll be too late. Well, that time I made the jumps, that's good news. Careful, Bane. Irritating boss fights, that. But we made it first time, I can't believe it. did with your family. The runners are screwed. Icarus is just the start. And I want to live, Faith, not just survive. Why Pope? His campaign was getting unexpected support, but he got stupid. Started making threats to the wrong people. High up people. He found out about Icarus. So they had you kill him. Him or me. Sorry about Kate. Didn't know she was your sis.
Don't ask, Merc. Okay? Heard all I need to hear, kiddo. Listen, Krieg says Kate's just been tried. Already? Wonders of the Swift Justice Program, huh? They found her guilty, Faith. Of course they did. Convoy's taken her off to jail in less than an hour. So regarding Celeste, if you'd have paid attention in the monitors when it showed all the runners, Draco her information was classified. I'll keep you posted. Get going. Everybody else had all their regular stats visible, but all of Celeste's said classified. And that was because she was their insider. That was actually very well um, foreshadowed. If you saw that data, if you were looking for it. Oh, bugger, I've made, that, made a mistake of that. Jumped way too early at complete with the wrong Thanks angle. A rifle drop here today. Yeah, we're going after a rifle drop, so we're going to be sabotaging this run. We don't want our sister to be taken to, taken to prison. I mean, I gotta say, like, you'd be drilling your knees into concrete, that's not fun. I've done that while longboarding, so it's definitely not ideal to say the least. You want to avoid it at all costs. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Might get away with it just about. Oh, what the hell? I got stuck somewhere I wasn't meant to get stuck then. That was annoying. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Avian. I had to go off that building. Read the news if you want to, people. First we get elevator music, and then we get new propaganda news. We're gonna have to relocate that drop. I'll get out to Krieg. See if you can lose him. I'll do what I can, Merc, but I'm up against it right now. <laughs> Technically, I technically cheated down by doing that, but at the same time, I'm a runner. If someone's shooting at me, I'm not going to try and hang around and get shot at. I'm going to do what I can to escape as quick as possible. Now, you see, the problem is that jump there, it seems to be very, very... Um, how's the word? Temperamental. In terms of its detection, it's one of the few. It's one of a few jumps in the game where it doesn't quite follow the form it should. Like there, I managed to miss the pipe, and I don't know if it's because I kissed the wall and bounced away, or if it was just you are supposed to wall her into it. It is one of the things where the game does have its slight issues and frustrations, but again, you don't really have much of a penalties because the checkpoints are pretty plentiful, so it's hardly broken and unfair. Yeah, so I mean, she's, I think she seems to get past it then and not grip the edge. Now, I do have one idea that could work to possibly counteract it. And so I've not played this game in years, so it's like a lot of this is like still almost going off muscle memory. No, I shouldn't do it. I wanted to try, try and wall run. And then jump off the wall and land on the crate that way. It's in a really awkward position. 
it's at an angle and there's no real like run up to it because the, the box before it is so small you can't do enough to gain momentum as such like here's fine you gain all the momentum in the world but back here there's almost nowhere even if we walk right up to the edge See, that time I managed to make it. It feels very clunky. It doesn't feel as flowing as the other jobs. But it's okay, because we made it. Yeah, we're on red alert, apparently, now. And look at that avian flu. That, that's the very topic of the time, wasn't it? 2009. Rick says Krieg's just stashed the rifle. It's at the top of the atrium you're about to reach. Hey, Known as bird flu. More colloquial, eh? That way of doing the game is actually technically not what you're supposed to do, but... Oh, I jumped too soon. Oh! Did you see that light slowly coming towards the knees then, people? It was like the game was going, this is your fate, kind of thing. Oh, I jumped too soon again. Oh, what the... I kind of got stuck infinitely jumping them. I don't know if that's because of a like a glitch in the environment or what, but... Um, I've never done that before, so you've just seen me do something I've never done previously in this game in all the times I've played it. As my friend used to say years ago, drilled. Ooh, not ideal, but we got away with it. So it's, oh, no, no, we didn't. No, we didn't get away with it. <laughs> I thought we had. I thought we were there, but I was wrong. Ooh. Yeah, this is one of those games where momentum is so critical. And if you don't get it, well, the game punishes you for it, that's for sure. Should be some kind of vent near you. Quick route to the sniper position. Yeah, that, that way there is not necessary for climbing, but we did it anyway. So now from one of the other points where I need to actually shoot my gun. It's very few times you need to do it in this game. Which is pretty refreshing, because again, most games at this time were very much... If it's a first-person game, you have to kill everything as much as you can. Here, though, you can be very smooth, sneaky, not really required to do anything like that. It's great. It feels very airy and free. And bear in mind, this game's 15 years old on PC. On console, it's even older. Because bizarrely, it came out on console the first. Get There's a nice exploit, by the way. Find a way of it down. Try going for the engine. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that. What's your status? Over. Looking good. Route is clear. Hang on, I'm struggling to um, figure out the, the um, controls for Zoom. Oh, I 
what the hell? She's not she's not using the sniper rifle the way she's supposed to. Yeah, because it was it wasn't got engaged in sniper right. mode. Get to it and get that convoy in your sight. She wasn't she wasn't down. engaged in sniper mode for some engine. reason. And I'm I don't know why. The right, that's the button that's the button to um shoot it. Connor. So what's the button to access Yeah, so far you're not far to shot anyone, which is amazing. Great, Wait, thank you. What's your status? Over. Is it it's not action with E. Looking good. Route is clear. It's not shift. It's not all. So what's the bleeding button? It's not in the controls. Ah, it's it's the F key. That's really count. That's really counterintuitive. Because I've played this in pacifist mode, I've not used any of the guns, so some of the gunplay controls are lost on me. See, all you have to do is make it to the exit there, people. You don't have to do anything. That's the speedrun tactic. Kate. Kate. Faith? Easy. Effie, I can't believe you've done all this. You're my sister. Take this. It's Merc. He's a friend. He'll guide you away from here. I'll lead the blues away. Come and find you later, okay? They go. Uh, I heard the mention the shard. The mayor's place. <coughs> yeah. Shit, Mark. Let me get someone a doctor. Ain't gonna happen, Faith. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm so sorry. No, no sorries. Just don't let them win. I won't, Mark. Now what's curious is this build, this game came out not long before a real life building in London called The Shard opened, believe it or not. It's not quite the same design as that. Certainly not got those weird out, out points in the middle, but it's a very, very odd coincidence. Oh, hang on, no, that's wrong. No, that's not me doing a down gun ramp quo, by the way. That's not that's not the aim of that.
Now this is where we're going to put it ourselves at risk in order to find a way through. We've blown the bloody doors off people. Yeah, no engaging of the enemy here. Just get in, get out. No messing about. Shoot me too? No. Right now, you're Kate's best hope. Weren't these your guys? No, they're PKs. Pirandello crew. Private security. What's going on, Miller? Hope's murder. Turns out there was a man on the inside. Rope burn? Yes. You were right about him. I tried to get answers myself. But why Kate? They needed a CPF cop to look like Pope's killer. No time to explain more. Take this comms unit and head for the roof. It's where they've taken Kate. I'll contact you when it's safe. I'll hold them off. The roof. Go. Now. I must say I really do like Miller's design, you know, with all with all with the all white motifs. So we are under heavy, heavy fire here. And this is where we need to get creative. Because. What we need to do is engage the elevator. Long enough for us to be able to get aboard it. So I'm literally being a distraction one moment. Oh, come on, seriously? Elevator's there, that's good. And we made it. A bit of dramatic slowdown because, well, why not, people? Why not? Thanks for the invite, but I don't want that. Faith, are you reading me? I'm in the security room, tracking you on the camera. Get out of the elevator, they're coming. Now that's a little bit of a little bit of a trip route as well. Now I've got to be careful here. Because I need the elevator car to not go through. There we go. You're in the elevator shaft. There should be an entrance to the ventilation system somewhere in there. It'll take you outside, but you should be able to find a way back in on the other side of the building. Might just be enough to throw them off the scent. See, there we go. Face plum hard. Oh, what the hell? Like that. Because I made the mistake of pressing the slide rather than the, rather than the wall run. That was my fault. Can you 
see what I mean about movement being absolutely king? Movement in this game is so important. That's the way to a reward that I don't need right now, so we'll go this way instead. It's a reward I've already collected, that's the reason why I don't need it. Yeah. I've not played this game in quite some time, but I did definitely collect that one, I remember it. This is where the game does feel a bit more like a game, doesn't it? It's like, you know, oh, there's this area that's open. Why don't we make it difficult for her by um, making it so that you have to avoid snipers? You know what I mean? It has that kind of feel to it. Ow. Yeah, not this time, mate. They're sending reinforcements. Oh, I missed it. That screwed me over. That unfortunately is likely to get me killed. But we'll see. Am I might get lucky. Oh, well, that's definitely got me killed. I thought I'd just about ducked into cover them. I thought I'd just about done it, but I was... A fraction of a heartbeat too late. And again, it was falling up, falling over the pipe that made all the difference there. See, the one thing I've got that they don't have is speed. Okay, cheers for the knowledge, Miller. Let me try and get through here as quick as I can, then. Oh, she did it again. Normally, if you do the coil jump, you can cut half of that pipe out. Well, that's twice I've tried now and twice I've failed. Oh, what the hell? Well, now I am, now I am screwed. Now I really, really am screwed. Yeah, basically, they follow you. That's the point, so if you get through there first time, you'll be out of there before they can start shooting. That's the key. Say so it's not a bad mechanic, but it means that you're technically on a time trial, even if you don't realise it. That's not ideal. That second shot there was the last thing I needed. Got away with it, though. Yeah, see, there's the reinforcements call that Miller was on about. Oh, what the hell? Got hung up in a gap between the frame and somewhere else. So I mean, all the difference that makes in terms of jumping. Oh, what the hell? I think I just got electrocuted, but luckily I got away with it. What the hell? No, she didn't jump. She didn't jump. I wonder why. I must have mistimed it. I can't think of any other reason. I can't think of any other reason for that failing. Hmm, okay. Face planting in my knees wasn't the best move, but we'll get away with it. Yeah, not this time, pal. Sorry. They're sending reinforcement. See you later. 
gain a little bit of extra momentum. Coil jump. And throw. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something rather interesting here, people. There's an elevator ahead. I've managed to unlock it. Take it to the server room. You should be able to get to the top floors and gate from there. I might need to push a button here. I do. Right, watch this. Check it out, people. There is the city in all its glory. Complete with one of the most obvious, like, 2D backgrounds. Like the security doors to the roof are closed. Okay. If you destroy those servers, their emergency protocol should automatically unlock the doors. I hope. Good luck, Faith. Yeah, it is quite nice, isn't it, Avian? Surveillance for the whole city right under your nose, Faith. Damn. Sounds like they've taken Kate to the roof. They've got a chopper coming in. You'll have to be quick. What the... That's what we need to do. We need to destroy the servers. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I was facing the wrong way. That's what happened then. I faced the wrong direction. I was trying to... I wasn't expecting that second guard to be there. That second guard normally isn't up on there. See, this is where the game gets... If you're trying to play it the way I am, it gets very frustrating. Because it feels very random in terms of whether... Oh, what the hell? That was my fault. I think I got caught on a corner. I think I got shot from behind then. I think that's what happened. I think there was a guard who was on this side of the server rooms. So this is very much a game of retry cat and mouse here, people. I don't know if I got all the server rooms, I'm not sure. Of that, we have an out. Open the door.
Mm. Attitudes like that. That's it. Well, that's exactly why I could. Who's behind this? Let's just say I know who the bigger fish are. Callahan. Why us? We're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without Pope. And without the runners. Your clients. Those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off. Vulnerable. And this city can clean up the last of its dregs. So this is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an end. Still, you did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's demise. It's why you're still alive. No idea where those guards came from. I agree with you, Queen. It was monologuing and should have just taken him out, but the game's got a game, and so have I. So, suck on this. Character we were controlling all this time, by the way. <laughs> In case you want to see a high res model of them. You can really see the low detail background here now. At least I can on my ultra high res monitor. <laughs> it's quite hilarious. There we go. That's right, people. One take. Can you beat this game without shooting anyone? Yes, you can. You can beat the game without killing anybody, technically. I killed two people. The random CPF guy and Jackknife. This song, by the way, is a very, very lovely song by an artist called Lisa Moskovsky. Interestingly, called Still Alive released around the same time as Valve's Portal. A very spooky coincidence, that. But they're very different songs. Extremely different. And by the way, this is now copyright hell. There's nothing I can do about that. But yeah, so that was the original Mirror's Edge, a game, as say, released on the consoles back in 2008 and ported to the PC in 2009. So technically, it's the 15th year anniversary, and we played it in one of its glory years. A game which is still extremely fun to play, even to this day. It might be short, but like the old school games from the 90s, you can infinitely replay them. You can do no weapon run challenges, kill everything challenges, use martial arts to knock out all guards challenges, find all the collectibles, time trials, the speed runs. There's so many things you can do with it. It's still, I believe, a very popular game to speedrun because there's quite a lot of exploits and if you know them, I think the world record for a glitchless run is something like 50, 50 minutes, 40 minutes. You can do it very fast if you know what you're doing. I don't, so this is why it's a more casual one-shot play. So the big question is, what's taking over this slot in the Monday nights? Oh, come on. Is it not obvious? We're going to its sequel, Catalyst. That's going to start next Monday at 8 p.m. BST. So, Mirror's Edge Catalyst is what I'm going to be playing. I'll be playing the sequel. Well, the sequel, not sequel. Very different game and very different style. I played it on the PS4 a long time ago. And I'm interested to see how it plays on PC because 
This game plays a lot better on PC than console. Do you think using precision platforming, the controller would be better? But amazingly, the mouse aiming and looking round for platforming in first person is so much more intuitive and a lot more responsive. According to a Callahan staff member, a security breach led to a series of catastrophic outages in the Shard's many public protection systems, causing havoc not just at the Shard, but throughout the city. The suspects in the act are none other than the former CPF officer and accused murderer Kate Connors and her sister Faith Connors. Although the scope and precise cause of the outages is as yet unclear, many troubling questions have emerged in their wake including the role of the so-called runners in the destabilization of city operations. In the aftermath of the incident, local security firm Pirandello Kruger will be assisting the CPF. PK and the mayor's office have also recommended mobile phone and email be used sparingly until additional security measures have been deployed, as their security has been temporarily compromised. The whereabouts of both suspects are currently unknown. And sadly, that's the way it remains. It remains unknown because this game was set up to have follow-on stories going all the way to explain where Callahan came from, how the city came to be, the truth behind the riots and all that kind of situation. And the game just went quiet for absolutely years until finally the, uh, the new game, which we're going to play next week, the open world game Catalyst. And, as we'll see, there are many unanswered questions, and fans to this day are desperate for a proper new version of this game, because the lore is there, the city design's there, the much more kind of like Europe-slash-Asia crossover and the structures and the culture is very marketable, especially at the moment with the likes of K-pop on the rise and anime and obviously gaming and fantasy games, so there's a lot of crossover marketing appeal. It was nice to have a female lead who was genuinely a badass, much in the vein of like Lara Croft and Aloy and um, like Claire Redfield, Ada Wong, one of the many other like lead women badasses. And it'd be nice to see the true end to the story, but all's been quiet on the Western Front for that, much like with the Alice games, sadly. Who knows if it will ever come to light. EA, if you're watching, even if you have to do it as a, a pseudo-independent release and not make it AAA size, take it back to its roots. Semi-open levels, multiple paths, nice story, likeable characters. The money's there to be made. All you got to do is get the game. Yeah, so I love this kind of... Like, again, this music as well, it's got a fantastic... It's not quite trip-hop, and it's not quite trance. It's a very surprisingly appealing sound. Normally, I'm not the biggest fan of electro music. I find it very much like bleeps, bips, and noise. But I kind of appreciate the way it's been layered in this, in this particular music that's playing now. Because it's all synthesized, you can tell by the drum beats. So it's a really nice exploration, and again, it feels very airy, much like the game itself. But yes, so next Monday we will start playing this. This is on Unreal 3, would you believe? This is from way back in the day. It's the, it's the old school. And you can see it's had a few extra things like physics brought into it and everything else. But ultimately, it's Unreal Engine 3. And they'll say it still holds up incredibly well. And see, I love this here. We'd like to thank our friends and families for their overwhelming and continued support during production. And the actual shout out to the families, that's amazing. That's so cool. It's even got some unusual stuff like Stockholm Pinball. I'm guessing that's a bar. Yes, I have played Catalyst Queen. In fact, I'm not sure if I've got a stream somewhere in my archive when I played it on PS4. Um, but as I say, I played the PS4 version, so it won't be optimized. And the controls will not be anywhere near as precise. But that's as they would advise is the end of the game we have got there and we got through the game in full pacifist mode if this was on the xbox 360 a nice little achievement would have come up saying test of faith but for whatever reason 
they were not included in the Steam port. So on Wednesday evening, we will be back at 8pm at BST, where we continue down the rabbit hole as Alice. And then on Friday, the madness. That is... Final Fantasy X. Oh yeah. Nice little tease for that with the phrase that you put in my chat there, Queen. I didn't almost say it at all. I was leading you in the wrong direction and you fell for it. <laughs> much like Jiro Jiro on the train. So with that, thank you all very, very much for watching. And don't fall off buildings, kids. It's really not good for your health. <laughs>